NASA just announced Voyager made contact with unknown object in space. We're never going to stop exploring the unknown in air and space. We have a continual curiosity about the enormous and stunning planet Earth. But compared to the cosmos, Earth is just a speck. Since technology made it possible for us to send satellites and rockets into space, we have been eager to understand more about the unknown. How do we approach it? As we evaluate the information the Voyager is telling us, it has just issued us a dire warning that is about to change everything for everyone on Earth. The Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 both departed Earth in 1977. Contrary to what their name suggests, the Voyager 2 was launched on the 20th of August 1977, while the Voyager 1 was successfully launched approximately three weeks later on the 5th of September. NASA's goal was to write history, but what could we have ever expected? The discovery of new planets, the existence of a parallel universe, or perhaps a connection with extraterrestrial life? Who knows? If you want to find out what frightening warning the Voyager has sent back to Earth, what this advanced telescope has discovered thus far on its journey, and what it might mean for the future of mankind, join us as we are about to cover all of these answers in the video. If you feel excited about what we have to reveal, make sure you hit the like button. It really means a lot to us. Oh, and before we forget, we got our hands on something very exciting leaked by one of NASA's former employees regarding the Voyager's mission. If you want to know something that no one has ever heard of before, stick around to the end of the video. On September the 18th, approximately two weeks after the launch of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, the Voyager 1 made the very first photograph ever of the Moon and Earth together in a single frame. NASA asked to write history, and they absolutely did, just two weeks after the launch. However, the mission involved much more than taking photos of the Earth. It was to investigate the specifics of the solar system we call home. Although we depict the solar system as perfectly spherical, it is not. In fact, all of the planets orbit in different oval-shaped patterns. There are only a few times when the planets are perfectly aligned to permit effective space travel. Therefore, a perfectly planned trip was crucial to investigate what they were looking for. All the planets on the Voyager's first track were in his direct line of sight in the months of August and September 1977. To get where it needed to go, it wouldn't need to detour far from the path. Due to the fact that the Voyagers do not use solar power or conventional fuel, this was crucial. They utilize RTGs instead, and given the distance they had to travel, utilizing them well was essential. The Voyagers reached Jupiter in less than a year and transmitted 4,000 photos of the planet. Two new moons as well as another ring were found. So after the first year, it was obvious that it was worthwhile to send the $865 million probes into the orbit. The need to understand the solar system in which we exist cannot be denied, despite the fact that some may disagree with that statement. As time went on, things got crazier as the Voyager sent back more and more information that they had obtained. The Voyager's very first mission was to reach Jupiter. As soon as the Jupiter mission was successful, the Voyager was supposed to head to Saturn. That turned out to be more challenging than NASA had anticipated since, in addition to challenging terrain and the Voyager crashing with numerous space rocks, it was also learned that Saturn has four extra moons that nobody had previously known about. One of the most recent discoveries was the largest moon, Titan, which showed that in addition to the information we were lacking, there were crucial elements that we were also overlooking. This was the point at which Voyager's first mission was formally completed. NASA scientists altered the route of the spacecraft so that it would travel outside of our solar system rather than toward Neptune or Uranus. It was intended for Voyager 2 to take its position and travel to the planets, which it has done flawlessly. On August the 25th, 2012, the Voyager spacecraft formally left the solar system. But right before that, a picture of the solar system as a whole, with all of its planets, is sent. It was the first opportunity to truly appreciate how tiny the Earth is in the scope of things. 
Additionally, it plowed straight through the heliopause and heliosphere, crossing the line and starting its formal journey outside the solar system. The Voyager's initial mission was to explore the solar system when they initially began their journey. No one could have foreseen that technology from the 1970s would endure this long, much less reach interstellar levels. There were never any significant problems with the cameras working or the information getting back to Earth. Despite the Voyager not being in perfect condition and the need to turn off several components to maintain it operating the way it has for the past 20 years, waiting a few hours for a message isn't really that bad considering that we can still receive information from the end of the solar system even though the information has slowed down. However, all of that has come into question this year. Even while the Voyager spacecraft looks to be operating regularly and it's currently nearly 15 billion miles from Earth, there have been a few odd abnormalities in the communications it has been sending. It was found that the spacecraft was having trouble determining its own location and its intended course. Given that the project has been ongoing for 45 years, challenges like this are to be anticipated at this stage, according to Susan Dodd, the project's safe mode manager. The spacecraft had not yet entered safe mode despite the issues. The communication appeared to be telling NASA that a foreign object had been encountered by the spacecraft. This might have been a rock, a gas pocket, or anything else that might be found in space. At first, it seemed as though something or someone had contacted the Voyager. To consider that would be terrible, the situation was made worse by the fact that it takes 21 hours each time to obtain information because of how far away the spacecraft is. That implies that you would have to wait at least a day to learn what would occur next. Remember when I told you that we were about to uncover something that has leaked from NASA about the Voyager's mission that no one had ever heard before? Make sure to stick around as we are about to spill the juice. The potential problem was discovered by the NASA crew to be a malfunction in the spacecraft's altitude articulation and control system, which led to the spacecraft's disorientation in space. Prior to being delivered to NASA, the data was tainted since it was only sending messages to a defunct machine. It was a problem, fortunately, that could be remedied by the Earth-based control center. However, it was given permission to send data back to the proper computer after receiving some directives from NASA, removing the message's corruption in a practical way. Everything was a glitch, but it's hard to know if the issue was indeed a glitch given that the Voyager wasn't even expected to be functioning at this point, some five decades after his launch. The project scientists have established that the Voyager was completely functional, thus they are unable to explain why it decided to start sending signals through a dead computer after operating for decades. Voyager's computers had communication systems continue to operate regularly even after the update, so there is no explanation for why it would have changed unless it came into contact with anything that caused it to alter how it communicates with NASA. Given that Voyager has traveled farther than any other spacecraft, there are two options. Either, for the first time in nearly five decades, the Voyager encountered a random fault or something else fundamentally altered the way it operated. It sent us a message that we might not fully understand at this time due to something, but that doesn't imply we should completely ignore it because we don't comprehend it yet. There's a chance that this message is deeper than we are being led to believe. And if that's the case, then the Voyager not only went further than anyone could have imagined, but it also established contact with entities that have communicated with us. And even if that is the only message we receive, it may be the start of something much bigger than anyone could have anticipated. It is feasible that we'll discover more about the unknowable if Voyager 2 succeeds in the same way as the first one did. In the future, this bug might end up being far more helpful than we now think. The video for today will continue to a scary conclusion now. What do you make of the letter Voyager sent to NASA? Do you consider it to be a malfunction, or do you believe the content to be much scarier than they are currently letting on? 
If you like this video, please share your ideas in the comments box below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to see more content like this.